Hello, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm Bethann and today what I wanted to do was do a uh, probably short video just with a quick update of what I've been reading in October. So I'm only going to talk about four books. Actually, well, okay, technically five. Um, I'm going to talk about five books. Um, so to start with, I've been making really good progress on The City We Became uh, by N.K. Jemison. This book came out earlier this year, so I'm a little bit behind the curve. I think a lot of booktubers have already read this, and my plan once I finish it, you can see I'm uh, I'm very close to finishing it, is to go through booktube and read uh, or watch um, some other booktubers' reviews um, so that I can see if I have anything new to add to the conversation and if I agree with other folks or not. Um, so far, I am just absolutely in love with this book. It's N.K. Jemison. I expected to be in love with this book. I actually haven't read much urban fantasy, so I was very excited to delve into that subgenre a little bit more because I've only read a few books um, in that in the past, and so far it's surpassing all of my expectations. I am curious to see if I can re uh, find reviews by people who don't know New York City very well or at all because so much of the book is just so tightly tied to the detail of what New York City is culturally and geographically, and I've been really appreciating that. As someone who's from the east coast of the U.S. and I lived in New Jersey um, for uh, five years and Connecticut for one year um, and so I am very familiar with uh, with New York City um, having spent a lot of time in it and gone back and forth across it many many times um, but I'd be very curious uh, for people who don't have that level of familiarity um, what they thought about the book so if anybody watches this video if you're if you're someone who who read this book and either liked it or didn't like it because of the New York City setting and how deeply intertwined it is with the setting. I would really love to hear about that perspective. Um, but I'll also try to find some reviews that address that as well. Um, but again, loving this. This is absolutely going to be a five-star read. I'm going to finish it um, by the end of this week because I have uh, two book club meetings <laughs> in the next week, uh, two book clubs that are reading this book. So that's very exciting. Um, another book I've been reading is um, Toxic Ivory Towers by Ruth Enid Sambrana. Um, this book came out in 2018, and I've been really enjoying this one as well. This one is definitely an academic textbook. It's not a popular sociology book, um, so it is a little, a little bit more of a slog, a little bit more work to get through. Um, it's very focused on the experiences of underrepresented, underrepresented minority faculty um, in academia at many different types of universities, kind of across all, all situations. Um, but what those experiences are in terms of hiring and promotion, um, respect, uh, support for their work, their experiences of collegiality or lack thereof in their departments. Um, so as somebody who's currently in academia, as a researcher, this is just incredibly enlightening. I feel like I'm learning so much without relying on, you know, the personal narratives of people that I know in my own work social circle. Um, this is, uh, this is the, uh, the result of research, of sociological research, of some very in-depth um, surveys and interviews. And so it's getting a really broad, um, really broad brush across the entire country uh, within the U.S. Of, um, of, of these experiences. So again, I feel like I'm learning a lot. I feel like I'm getting a lot to apply in my own uh, work life, um, especially hoping that I eventually become faculty myself. There's, there's just a lot to learn here. Um, that said, the, the first couple of chapters were pretty hard to get into. I felt like the writing was a little bit disorganized um, and, and there was a lot of repetitive writing. And so um, that was a bit hard to get into. And I think in the future, I'm going to use this book as a reference book to dip in and out of when I want to remind myself of some aspect of the academic life and how that might specifically be affecting um, underrepresented minority people in academia. Um, this is a library book, uh, so definitely the sort of thing I can check in and out over and over again. Um, so I'm excited to finish this one as well. Um, and then I started a book on my Kindle that was not on my TBR. The other two books were on my list um, 
the city we became and toxic ivory towers were both on my list that i wanted to read this month um but i gave into temptation uh we were going on a camping trip and so it was easier to bring my kindle than to bring um a couple different physical books so i started the heresy within by rob j hayes which is the first book in a series the ties that bind and it's a self-published book from 2012 so i'm kind of working on a larger goal here of one, working through my Kindle library, because I have a lot of books there that I haven't read, and two, working on reading more self-published books. Um, so I'm only about 15% into that book. Uh, it is enjoyable. It's very action-packed, so it was a great light read to bring on a camping trip. Um, two problems I'm having with it so far, though. The main characters, because we follow a couple different perspectives, none of them are particularly sympathetic to me yet. They're not really speaking to me as a person. I don't really see myself at all in those characters. Um, I just haven't really connected with them yet. And since I'm already 15% of the way into the book, I would usually hope that I would have connected with a character at this point. So it's definitely interesting enough that I'm going to keep going, but I'm just a little worried about where the characters are going to go and if I'm ever going to actually like any of them or sympathize with any of them. Um, and then the other thing, oh, where I did have one other point. Oh yeah, the other, the other thing is that um, there isn't a clearly identified plot line yet. Like we're kind of following essentially a few adventurers almost that are each going around and having their own little stories and none of them have really interacted yet. Um, and there's no overarching drama that's driving it. So it's it's a little slow to figure out where is the overall book going to go? What is the total story? Um, so hopefully, again, 15% of the way in, according to my Kindle. <laughs> um, so hopefully over the next, uh, I would say maybe the next 5% of the book, once I'm a fifth of the way in, you know, I've got to kind of feel like there's a story arc, I feel like, um, to, to really get grabbed further and want to continue. So I'll continue with that and I'll, uh, I'll, let anybody who watches these videos know how it is at the end of the month. Um, and then just a quick update, because I already did a separate video about these. Um, I read Allie Brosh's two books this month. So um, her newest book, which came out uh, just a month or so ago, Solutions and Other Problems, um, was on my TBR. And so I devoured it. It's fantastic. Um, and then I wanted to remind myself what her first book was like, Hyperbole and a Half. So I also blazed through this one as well, um, but did a separate video about these. So I'll link to it. Um, and that is what I've read so far this month. So I'm hoping to accomplish a lot more reading. We will see how, uh, how successful I am at that or not. Oh, and I should mention, um, I do wanna do a review about probably either The City We Became or Toxic Ivory Towers, um, the two, two of the books that I'm really enjoying. Um, so that's one reason I haven't gone into a ton of detail about those, even though I'm very uh, much most of the way through those. Um, so if anybody watches this, if you have an opinion about which one you'd like to hear more about, please leave me a comment below to let me know. Otherwise, I'll just pick based on what I feel like talking about most. Or if I have time, I'll do both. We'll see. Adventure. Um, so anyway, again, my name is Beth Ann. Thanks for stopping by if you watch this video. Um, if you like what I'm doing, want to hear more of my thoughts about books, please hit the subscribe button below and definitely leave me a comment. Let me know who you are, what your channel is. Um, I'm definitely trying to connect with people on here and uh, start chatting about books. Thanks. Bye.